Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. For today's assignment, we'll be doing a Google Slides activity on reviewing algebraic proofs. So to get to the activity, you're going to click on My Document. And then this Google Slides activity should load right here, but it's going to be pretty small, so I like to go ahead and click on Edit. And then it takes me to a bigger screen. If this doesn't load right away, try clicking this Refresh button and then it should end up loading for you. So for these first two slides, you'll be completing some algebraic proofs. And what I'm looking for here is for you to fill this out just like we did in the notes of writing all your statements. So solving the equation on the left and then giving your reasons on the right. And all you're gonna do here is you're gonna just type in those steps. So like for instance, starting this first one, I would start with my given. So I'll start with my equation, which is 3x minus 14 is equal to 43. And then right next to it, I will type my reason. Well, my reason for that is given. And then I'll move on to the next step. So the next step I know to solve this equation is I'm going to add 14 to both sides. So I'm actually going to type plus 14. And I'm going to put it underneath those numbers, just like I would if I were writing it out. And then I need to give a reason for that step. And so again, for this one, since I'm adding to both sides, that is my addition POE. And so you would keep on going until you solve the equation and you give your reasons for every single step here. So the number of statements you have should match the number of reasons you have. And so you'll do that for those first two slides. On this last slide, we are going to be dragging and dropping the property of equality that the, that the statement illustrates. So for instance, if looking at number one, it says x equals x, let's say that I thought that was a transitive property, I'll go and click on transitive property and drag that into the box underneath. And then I'll fill in the other two. Once you have completed all three slides, you'll come back to your original slide and then you'll click on Submit Assignment and then click on Yes Submit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a message on Schoology, otherwise I hope you all have a great day.